All right, so I'm going to make a video of a <clears throat> Japanese 3DS program. It's actually region free, but it's a new 3DS exclusive, and it's currently unknown what it actually does. So I managed to get a copy of it, and I'm going to just take a video of some features. So here's what it shows up as. I'll show you the banner, too. And a little dinging sound. It just literally shows up as Amiibo question mark. There's a Japanese title, too, but this is an uh, American new 3DS. And the app, the game itself is region free. So, anyway, it looks very primitive. It looks almost like a dev tool. See, it says up, down, select item, A, decide, B, exit. Let's try if I exit. Is it just gonna? Oh, neat. Or, huh? Pulls this little thing up. I don't know what's going on when I when I press start. It like does random things, but. Well, let's try putting an actual amiibo on there. So I'll grab my Mario. All right, put it on there and see what happens. It gave me a peach coin. Okay. Um, right. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with this. What the heck am I supposed to... Uh, press A, and it goes right back to that same screen. Let's try it again. Or, huh. This is indicating that I've already used that one, I guess. Hmm. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, well. Let's so grab a different one. I'll grab a me sword fire. See what happens. And then that one also gave me a princess piece coin. Hmm. Alright, let's see if I can just if I quit and go back to the the main screen. Oh, there's also, it looks like there's a manual here, too. I don't know if it'll work or not, because of the whole crypto-fixing thing, but let's try it. Oh, okay, it does work. That's, that's such a short manual. J important information, amiibo, <coughs> support information. So, important information is going to be your general thing that all games have. Yeah, okay. So, this software supports amiibo. Get, like, hey, that manual literally has absolutely nothing whatsoever. Like, that's just the generic Amiibo info that every Amiibo game has. And then support information is just their, their phone number. That's, like, all it is. So that manual is completely useless and doesn't tell us what this thing does. Apparently in Japan, the title was something like Amiibo Lottery. So it might have something to do with that, but I don't know if this was, like, designed for tournaments hosted at, like, malls or something. So, okay, information... It's very hard to read this, actually. Mode setting, save data, clear save data, BGM setting. Let's try clear save data. Oh, you know what's going to happen? It's going to... Oh, look at that. It's going to pull this back up. So it's going to... You know what it's going to do? Or... <clears throat> I don't know what that... Hmm. That's weird. I don't know what that does. I'm not going to try it with this one because I've actually got a me on here. It's level 50 in Smash Brothers, so I don't want to mess it up. But my Oh, good. That didn't do anything. The Mario, though, I just I don't have anything important on, so I can erase it. Um, you know what? Actually, let's test it real quick. See if, see if the erase data does do what I think it does. So we'll go in here, and we'll do it the normal way, where it says um, Amiibo settings. And... I can tell you there's nothing on this Mario, so it's going to ask me to set a name. So let's do register name and whatever. So do that. Okay. So it's going to... Okay. Enter the nickname. I'll just enter, like, LOL. Or I'm using my finger. It's kind of hard to... There. Okay. All right. So I'm going to name it LOL. Save. And, uh, do that again. So, it should, if I'm correct, if I go back to this, register owner and nickname, it should show me that, like, let's see, it should show that it's already registered. Right? Yeah, it shows the nickname. So, alright, I'm going to cancel this, I'm going to end this. Now, let's, let's open this guy back up. I'll go to the erase option and we'll see if it actually erases the stuff I just wrote to it. So, clear save data. 
Oh, wait, that's interesting. Okay, prize count, amiibo data, mode... Se so, okay, amiibo data. Erase the data, yes. Huh. Well, that's... That's weird. Prize count, really erase the data, yes. Mode setting data, erase that. Huh, so it doesn't... Oh, uh, okay. BGM setting. <clears throat> it says on, but I don't actually hear any music. Or, oh, you know what, that's probably in the little, like, thingy, you know, the little, um, like, when it shows the amiibo thing. Like, let's, if I try turning it off, let's see what happens there. All right, current BGM mode off. Um, save data. Save the data. Very tech, like, very, uh, it's just generic wording. Okay, mode setting. Current, I don't know what this is either. It says ratio, quantity, or single. The default is ratio, but it looks like those are the settings. Again, this has something to do with like lottery something or other, so I don't know what that... I'm just going to leave it on, on ratio for now, and then information. See, and then this has info like... Almost like the DS download card, which is information, total, challenge count, total, first prize count. Funny how it's just the first prize count, the second prize count. Probably because Nintendo speaks Japanese and they hired some people to make an English version or something and they didn't do it very well. I don't know. But it is region free. The, 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 the name ends in an A, which means that it works in all regions. Okay. How do I get back to the actual Amiibo thing? I don't know if I just... No, just putting an Amiibo does nothing. Um, up, down, select item, exit. I wonder if that... Oh, you probably have to press B... Yeah, there we go. Yeah, see, now with the BGM turned off, there's no music here. So I'm guessing that this is what you're supposed to see, like, if you go to, like, if they have this thing running at, like, some place that does the lotteries or whatever, this is probably what you're supposed to see. And it's just gonna do that all day. There's no, you can't get out of it. You press the buttons, nothing happens. Although you can use the home button. Or, wait, no, you can't. Oh, yes, you can. Never mind. <laughs> it looks like you can. Software suspended. Anyway, you go back to it. It's interesting, usually you can't use the home menu when stuff is trying to read the uh, NFC. It generally locks you from doing that, but I guess this one lets you. But, put our amiibo there. It's gonna give me another, give me a Bowser coin that time. I don't know what the heck this thing is. Like I said, it's like a lottery thing, so. And you press A to go back and. Hmm. You know, I'm guessing what this is. It's probably designed to be used at, like, official Nintendo events rather than flipping a coin or something arbitrary. They probably just have one of these things, and they say, bring an amiibo to enter the tournament. <laughs> you bring an amiibo, and you put it on here, and it'll give you either a Bowser coin, which means game over, or a peach. I don't know what the deal is, though. So, and I, I actually don't know how to get out of this, either. Like, let's see, R does nothing, L does nothing... Like the triggers do, yeah. They don't. I don't think any of the buttons actually do anything. The only thing I can think of to close it is to actually, like, manually terminate it. Like do this and close it. And it looks like it supports safety and backup too. Like you can do that. But all right, let's start it up again. Just want to see. It's probably gonna remember though. If I do this and I press B, it's probably still gonna give me the red X. Or oh, maybe not. So the real question is, how do you get back to that main menu? Like, I don't know, there must be some way, press A, B, X, Y all at the same time, start, select, they, yeah, the buttons don't do anything, it's just, I don't know, hmm. there's gotta be something. Let's try the, I have to put the camera down for this. Nope, the LR start method that works in games like Pokemon and Fire Emblem doesn't work either. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is. It seems weird that you can erase the save data, though, because it doesn't seem to actually do anything. When I close it, it see, says any unsaved data will be lost. It doesn't actually store it unless you actually go and press the save option. But seeing as how I can't figure out how to get back to that menu once you're in the amiibo scanning mode, it doesn't it doesn't really make any sense. So, okay. Let's do that again. I'm going to see if I can win another time. There we go. Yeah, I won. I don't know what I won, but I won. <laughs> okay. Yeah. <clears throat> so, 
So I guess that's it. That's the little Amiibo lottery thing, or as it's literally called in the in the U.S., Amiibo question mark. So I don't know what this thing is intended to be for. It's on the eShop. Um, at least it's on the Japanese eShop, and it's marked as a private download, which means that you can access it using a special link, like through a through a game or something. But it's not normally downloadable or purchasable by anybody. It's just on there, and I happen to find this um, on the big key database that people are making. They're essentially making a community source database of all of the download keys for 3DS games so that you can make your own CIA files. So I went ahead and did that, and then I ran the crypto fix so it'll work, and uh, this is the result. So, yeah, very interesting stuff, but uh, seeing as how I don't... I don't know. Okay, anyway, yeah. Um, hopefully someone will enjoy seeing this. Thanks for watching.